Hey guys, so I'll be showing you on how to add a horror map into your Gorilla Type fan game. So, what you want to do is just like find out a place and uh, what your map is. If you use my other tutorial on how to make a good map, you'll have somewhat like this. So, what you want to do is just click on this. What I do is click on extrude edges and then just go down via this and then move it down. Then you have like an entry. Pretty sure this is like very big. Uh, sorry for this. Let me uh, let me disable this really quick. Alright. So you should have like this. This should be like pretty good. I'll, I'll lower it down a little. So, you can now extrude this again, like, go like this, and then when you want it to go down, like I'll make it somewhere like here, you can extrude again, and go here, like, about like that, you can rotate it, then like this, you can... Make it go down, extrude again, and then just do the same. I I'll do it like this. It's gonna it's gonna look pretty bad. You can do it how much you really want. Right now it's just for the tutorial, so it doesn't have to look that good. And now you have the tunnel to your horror map. So you can do that this extrude edges like that and then move it down a little and then like that strain it out a little and there you go so now you have like somewhat an entry to your horror map. What I like to do is like uh, I have to make it go down a little more since my shop map is here. Uh, I think my shop map is there. Yeah, my shop map is there. So I have to make it go down a little more. But like this. And then, however big you want it to be, like about like this big, and then use this to go down. It helps, like, kind of like straighten it out. Sorry if I stutter a lot, guys. This is very cool right now. But, um, alright. Alright. There you go. Now, do this. Alright, mine is about to cut it clean with the main map, but it should still work. I hope, yeah, okay. You can make it how big uh, as you want. I know, this is the beach map, sorry. My shop is over here. It's a, it, like, this is a, this is a test game, of course. So. Go over here. Hey, right, by the way, guys, if you want me to show you how to add a black hole, I will show you. But uh, right now, this is for uh, horror. So you have your horror, right? So you can add walls. Look, let me move it down just a little. All right. So you can add walls by uh. Like, what I like to do is just, well, right, let me make it a little more wide. So, like, what I like to do is just go here, add a Pro Builder cube, then rotate it to, like, match your wall, kind of. Mine is at 36, I'm pretty sure, about 36, yeah. And move it down. 
like try and get it as accurate as you can. You don't have to. It's just like to make your game look better. So. Alright, there you go. Now, move this up to match, like, the height of a your map. And then, you can start extruding these. When you want to make, like, a wall that goes to the right, somewhat like, like, like if you want to make it, like, go that way, you should do this. You can also do it like this. Like, you just, you just click on extrude once, and then you can move it. But, to make the walls, like, look more thick, you can do this, and then click on this. And then you can move it. So. Yeah. That's how you, like, add a whore. You can shape this however you want. And, uh, well, that's how you add a whore. Or a whore map, actually. If you guys want me to, like, uh, show you a video on how to add a whore monster. I don't know how to add jump scares yet, but if you guys want me to show you how to add a whore monster, I will. So, uh... Alright. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!